Equity Market Outlook May 2023 Indian markets rallied during the month with gains across market capitalization and almost all major sectors except IT. The catalyst could be the RBI's surprising decision to pause at the April meeting amidst a gloomy outlook that prevailed in March. India has traditionally been a capital-scarce economy where the cost and availability of money matter to growth. The traditional economic theory of monetary easing, lower rates and, or higher liquidity, supports economic activities. In comparison, monetary tightening, higher rates and, or lower liquidity, impacts economic activities in a capital-scarce economy, emerging economies. In a developed market economy, capital surplus, however, monetary easing or tightening has a far lesser influence on the economy but significantly higher influence on asset markets, higher valuations. We have been witnessing this as the monetary easing of the past decade by the Fed and other central banks has created an expansion in valuations across asset classes, equity, debt, real estate, Bitcoin ATC. Globally, markets remained volatile with some upward bias as news about ALM, led failures at large regional banks in the USA continued. Fortunately, the issue with banks is far more on interest rate risks rather than credit risks, for now. The outcome of the US Fed meeting on May 3rd is keenly awaited as a pause or a continuation of the rate hike path is relevant for asset market valuations. The money supply infused by Fed post the bank failures suggests that we are more likely to be headed towards an era where money will be available but at a higher cost, interest rates. Suppose this, adequate liquidity available at a higher rate, scenario plays out in the near term or gets priced in. In that case, markets may get into another round of volatility as the leadership can change among stocks. Fed policy action also matters for India as RBI may consider appropriate action at the June meeting. From the Indian economy and corporate earnings front, the capex cycle across infrastructure, government, state governments, and capital goods, corporates, driven by PLI and China plus one, continues. The corporate capex is led by listed and unlisted corporations, FDI and Indian firms. The most notable name has been Apple as it announced India plans during a visit by CEO Tim Cook. Corporate earnings-wise, financial year 23 has seen a disproportionate share of earnings growth by lenders, mainly banks, as they took advantage of higher rates on older assets getting repriced. Higher rates have hurt borrowers, consumers and corporates, across, leading to some slowdown in discretionary spending. Financial year 24 is likely to see banks sharing higher rates with depositors, which may restore the spending power to some consumers and corporates who have been net depositors. Economic indicators like PMI, GST collections for April 23 at an all-time high of Rs 1.87 lakh crores, and real estate sales all show economy is chugging along at a decent pace despite the global recession concerns. Looking ahead While Fed policy remains relevant for markets in the short term, the economic growth and fundamentals remain relevant in the medium and long term. The fundamental story for India remains the rapid growth potential that moves the Indian economy towards the third largest economy status. The key building blocks for economic growth are 1. Public sector infrastructure creation 2. Private sector's industrial capex 3. Compliance-led tax collection efficiency 4. PLI initiatives-led job creation 5. China plus one strategy to get export market share India markets in the past five to six years have seen investors become traders by opting to use derivatives like options creating extreme volatility and quick sector rotations. Investors must return to markets with a potential wealth creation objective over three, five, seven years. On the other hand, the traders have an objective of income generation with a time frame of four to five weeks, derivative expiry, at max. In terms of market capitalization opportunities, small cap as a segment could emerge as a beneficiary of any reversal in monetary policy stance by RBI. 
Historically we have seen that markets in consolidation are a perfect case of buying equities as an asset class. If investors believe in fund managers ability to make moves within large, mid and small cap segments, then mandates like flexi cap and focused funds could be suitable for them. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.